Hello and welcome to this VGR video game recommendations. A review of, yep, you guessed it, Terraria. So, yeah, um, we all practically, I think, know what Terraria is. It's essentially, you know, often the, the acclaimed 2D version of Minecraft. Which is it's definitely sort of definitely is where you can see where it comes from that. It's you know, you start off, cut down tree, build house, mine, skirmish with mobs, get armor and all that other good stuff. But as we all know, I think it's had like over twelve million sales on Steam, or according to Steam on the um, trailer, and practically everyone knows this game and so this I guess recommendation is sort of Irrelevant as you can just see for it, see for yourself as like how it's done so well. It's sold millions of units, got overwhelmingly positive reviews. Last one I checked anyway. But I thought I'll do this anyway because I plan to do more like these of a few other games. Some that are popular, some that are not. And all that goes. So it's sort of like my own opinion, so this isn't a professional review. It's basically my opinion and. A game that I recommend, if you haven't played it, you should, it's very fun. The fun's like doubled when you play it by multiplayer, but that's what we're going to get into. So for those that, if you don't know, Terraria is space. it's an open world adventure. Often as I said, claimed the 2D version of Minecraft, where you start off. You actually, you actually, unlike Minecraft, you start off with actually some tools, like, I think, a copper axe, a shovel, a sword, you know, the basic necessities to get going. Because you simply can't punch a tree with your fists, you've got to actually swiss out an axe and cut that thing down. And you start off with used to, what used to be incompetent NPCs that would just run around and get slaughtered on the surface. Like, they would have their skull being cracked open, their brain fluid sucked out by a slime, but they wouldn't do anything about it. It's like, oh well, yep, and then they would just succumb to the mobs of hell, and you had to often defend them. But now, as of, as of recently, not so long ago, they um, threw in an update where the NPCs can actually defend themselves. Not much, it's basically a bow and arrow, but it's better than nothing <laughs> previously, where it's just um, getting slaughtered. And at times you just see NPCs in the bottom left arriving at your town because they're filling in their previous life after it was lost due to silly calls. But anyway, I do this. Terraria's open world, 2D as I said. You start off, you sort of establish yourself, cut down trees, you build it up. You um, as you, it's like. It's sort of like an open world like RPG where you sort of you can like build up your town and if you put in rooms and do them correctly you get NPCs arriving, various NPCs, not just standard I'm an NPC. You'll get things like a blacksmith, merchants, people that do dyes, people that do things like ammunition, people do things like wallpaper or decorations and all sorts of stuff. There's a lot of variety of NPCs that all do different things. And you, you know, you progress, you mine up things, and you know, you you do, you explore the world. It's very vast and open, unless you like choose a setting to have it minuscule. But there's loads of biomes, you know, you just there's a lot to explore. So, so if you look, so if you're looking at it and you see the visuals, you're probably like, eh, visually, yeah. But to be honest, for a 2D game, it's actually quite pretty, and. You know, visuals aren't everything, as they say. You know, for me, like graphics isn't a huge thing. I, I would like graph good graphics, but that isn't always a driving point for me because you know I've often played with low end. I have low end computers, so I've often played with like the lowest graphics settings and resolution, and often had to deal with it. Otherwise, it's going to be lag galore. And the fact that. I grew up playing PS1 and PS2, you know, these old games that are not by any means graphically good. But I had a lot of fun because the gameplay was there, or story, 
add more to off than just visuals. So I could always sort of dismiss that graphics was something that was a must have. Although nice, not necessary too much anyway. But the visuals are overall quite nice. It's definitely, definitely a pretty game. Without a doubt. There's not much for me to say other than it's it looks great. Nice particle effects. You know, and detail. And not just big huge pixel blobs. Like some of you would see from like Tomb Raider 1 or something. But yeah. Gameplay wise, you can do quite a bit. You can like customise your character. Do things like that. You can build, you can craft, you can mine, do battle with mobs. With, with customization, you can like, unlike Minecraft, we can sort of just we just slap on armor. You there's like there's much there's like there's loads of different types of armor. It isn't just like say chainmail, leather, iron, gold, and diamond. There's way more. It's crazy how much armor there is. And not only that, so when you could slap on armor, you're like, this armor's pretty good, it's the best armor I've got, and it looks really nice. But if you come across, like, the next level up of armor, like the next tier, and it's better, but not as visually pleasing, just slap that on into your armor slot, and then you can slap the previous one that you liked onto cosmetics. So you, it would overlap your current one that's actually giving you the benefits of defense, while the weaker one is giving you the benefit of cosmetics so you sort of best of both worlds getting the um, good buffs of the better armor and I guess the better look of your custom armor the world the world's just very fun the, the crafting is diverse there's like loads of things it's, it's the world is just huge there's loads of everything loads of mobs loads of items like it's crazy like if you it's quite it's actually rare if you ever see like the same item in a chest because there's just so much you can find in the world it's just so expansive and diverse it's crazy because uh, one thing i all really loved about terraria and again i want to sort of i guess compare it too much to minecraft but with minecraft what i often often done was at the beginning I would just set up a small establishment in like a hillside or just a small dirt house and I would immediately for on like say these are difficult settings if you start starving like you run out of food your health would just deplete like halfway or whatever you wouldn't actually starve to death and that's what I often did like I'll just simply mine down and just hunt straight away for diamonds even with like half health and no hunger and I would find diamonds I think I've sort of Done. I, I could sort of demonstrate with my first series of Minecraft that abysmal playthrough, which I should probably take down. Whereas I set off, set up a small establishment at the beginning, but I immediately start going on diamond hunt and actually, and I, and I find diamonds because it's that easy to, at the beginning, just establish yourself and immediately go on the hunt for the best armor. You can, because you can just straight go down and just start hunting for the best armor. You can get in the game. Whereas Terraria, you can't exactly do that for a few reasons. One, the world is like massive. So, whereas going down in Minecraft would be like, I don't know, 100 blocks. I need to probably should actually, actually do my research. But screw it! But. You, you know if you've played both games you'll get the gist but like minecraft would be like so many blocks it, it won't it, it doesn't take long to go from the surface to bedrock it doesn't take long at all if you was to mine the staircase down whereas terraria whereas it might take like five minutes in minecraft maybe less terraria is not gonna exactly take it's gonna take a lot longer than five minutes you don't have to exactly staircase down because you can actually see what's below you. If there's like a huge hole in the ground of lava, you'd see it because you're not looking at it from a first person perspective. You're looking at it from a third. You're actually looking at your character while seeing all the world around him. And with Terraria, it's not just like a few, it, it's thousands of thousands of blocks and it goes down, it goes down. You go from multiple like underground biomes, you'll see countless mobs. You'll run into all different kinds of ore. And you won't even hit bedrock. You'll just hit like 
a hell version of it. And there'll be a boss down there and everything. I should probably take spoilers of shit. Well, most people have played this, so. And I, I haven't said nothing about the boss, but it's it's a long way to go down. And not only is it a long way, say, go down to sort of get the best ores, you can't get the best ores off the bat. One thing I really like about Terraria, which Minecraft doesn't possess, is actual sort of sense of progression, or actual progression. When you, say, beat the boss, like the Cthulhu, or better yet, like, or when you beat off Cthulhu, that, that progresses you, that gives you things that are only exclusive to him, that mob at that time, and beating him, that mob, that boss, will help you move on to the next stage to beat the next boss who will give you stuff to move on to the next stage and beat the next. Beating the um, major boss, the Wall of Flesh, beating him, I think, like, if you're not doing it in hard mode, will unlock hard mode and it blesses the world with new ores and new mobs, new biomes. So it actually changes the world when you defeat a boss. And as you progress, the more mobs, bosses you beat, the more things, more ores are blessed in the world, more mobs appear, and things like that. So beating bosses, like, it, it brings new life into the world. So you don't have access to everything off the bat, and you don't just beat the bosses for the sake of beating them. They actually progress and unlock new bosses themselves, as well as many other things. And as a result, this introduces loads more biomes, so there's loads of different types of biomes, it's actually sort of like, it can be random as well, like, I forgot what they were, but there was like, you can have like, have like a, a begin like a crimson world, or some other world, and you can get like one of two bosses, like the brain of Cthulhu, or the destroyer of worlds, or something like that, so, it's actually, it can even be randomised, there's that sort of much open there's like that much creativity in it and how much there is the game has to offer weapons pff, i can't even go into weapons there's there's loads it's endless same goes for items that's quadrupled armor there's i think as i don't know if i've said but terraria has constantly had a lot of free major huge free updates and has over time got more given to it and as a result, it's had more armor over time, more items, more weapons, so it's constantly grown. And a lot, it has a lot with it. And same with mobs, there's ooh, loads of mobs. I wouldn't even know where to begin. There's that many mobs as well. It's just a huge universe, which I've not played. I've, I've, I'm not a huge veteran at Terraria. I have about 146 hours, a little 0 0.7 on it. So that's about much so I've played it. But from what I've played it, there's just so much in it. It's it's crazy. There's just so much depth to it, so much detail, so much openness and customization, flexibility and freedom. It would playability is off the charts. And it is super goddamn fun when it comes to multiplayer. Single player is fine, but it gets boring eventually. But when you do it with multiplayer with a bunch of friends, you can defeat difficult bosses together. It makes progression fun. Like you can have one person like, build a railway <laughs> from the center of your map where you started from yeah, your house to like the other side of the map. While he's doing that, you can you have you can have another friend mining for currently the best ores that are to offer and another person's prepping up to fight a boss getting the stuff to fight a boss to bless the world of new goodies and another person could be grabbing the uh, last requirements to produce the next tier of armor for everyone and you can all do these different things all at once or do it together and speed up progress and you know all together you can sort of enjoy what the world has to offer Performance wise, the game runs smooth, unless you have a bad computer. But, I don't know if it's anything to do with the computer or not, but usually me and a friend have always, when we started Terraria, it would often take about five minutes for the game to actually open, so we're not too sure what that's about, and I don't know if it still persists today, but that was not, it wasn't a major problem, but it was, it 
Terraria wouldn't start instantly when we went to start and play it. But the game ran fine, unless you have atrocious internet and you're the host, and you have one too many people on the server, and then it just chugs and chugs really badly for you and dark times. But performance, game runs smooth, and it isn't very glitchy, it's very polished, very clean game, very fun to play. And back to replayability, it's just endless. It would sort of always be the same, like start, cut down tree, build house, exchange words with NPC, but there's so many ways you can sort of go about it later on, like you can roleplay or whatever, what the kids do nowadays, and the amount of different types of armor you can have, the items, the amount of friends you can play with, it's... The hours you can play on for, I can't say the same save from start to finish, it, it can go on for ages. You could spend probably countless hours with a few buddies, like from the start, going all the way to the end, just getting, if you'd spent the time to get the best armor, get all of these diverse crazy items, and build a huge, luxurious, like, huge massive house with a ton of NPCs in it, and basically reach as far as the game goes. It's such a massively rich world where there's so much in it, so much material, so much content. It's just, it's gonna take a long time by discovering. Back in the day, you could have like, in the early days of Terraria, you could have probably like explored all corners or you could have found all the items, all the weapons, learned everything there is to learn about Terraria. But now that so much has been added to it since its release. Good luck with that. Overall conclusion, it's a solid game. There's just tons of never ending content. There's nice personality and character to it. Infinite replay value. It's incredibly cheap for its price, like five pound. I think it was like five pound for just what it was. It's crazy like cheap. Like there's like DLC for games that do not even offer a quarter of what Terraria offers, yet it will go for like double the price. And the huge updates Terraria has released for free, if someone like EA or some other major company was behind it, they would like charge mega bucks for it. But this is a huge update, we're not gonna give this away for it. They won't even like sell it as a huge package or a huge expansion, they'll probably break it up into like 20 pieces of individual DLC and sell it all off for like 10 pound each. Once you buy it for like very cheap money and you'll get huge free updates with it you you get way more than your money's worth way more and it's generally fun to explore the unknown it's like it's constant adventure constant discovery when i first played it i was learning things i was discovering new items new what new mobs i'd go to this new unexplored before underground biome like whoa I've never seen this dungeon for the first time. Whoa, that mob, what on earth is that, you know? And it was constant discovery, and it was like a, a really nice adventure I was having with buddies, and it was so fun. I guess one thing that can be a pro or a con, depending on your view, is that, sort of the, that was the constant huge free updates. Don't know if they're constant now, because Terraria 2 is in the works. But I think there are people still working on the game, it's the standard original Terraria. And not everyone was too happy about the app. The same like Minecraft when there's updates, people like flip a table. For me, I'm, I love the I've, I love updates. Sort of why it keeps me keeps me interested and in I want to play it more. And there's an update with Minecraft which I hardly now and then play. But I want to check out these new updates. So I'll get back into the game as a result of the update. But a lot of people don't like it because it adds all this new content. It's like, oh no, it doesn't feel the same anymore. And it drives me crazy. Like, you're getting these huge, nice free updates. And a lot of it's been really cool with Terraria. But apparently not everyone agrees. So I guess it depends on you that these huge free updates can either be a pro or a con. If you like it like old vanilla, good old Terraria, then you're going to have a bad time. But if you like it expanding and bringing in new material then you're gonna love it and I guess one they give is like some technical issues like starting up lag at the beginning and but this could just be a result of my low end or low end PCs I remember back in the day oh port forwarding oh 
that was that would be a con on this list because it didn't have it didn't have Steam integrated multiplayer. So setting up a multiplayer game took a bit and was a bit rough. But not too long ago, adding it alongside trading cards and achievements and all that good stuff, the integrated Steam multiplayer. So you can just simply just like right click, invite friends, and you know things like that, or simply join their game if your friend is hosting it's so much easier and you can sort of immediately kick it off instead of like waiting around for your that one person to sort out the port forwarding which i have no idea how to do because there's a few games that me and hendo was like yeah we're gonna play this uh port forward <laughs> overall the game just continues to get bigger and better there's just so much customization so many npcs enemies items and just so much more it was all loads of it has been added for free which is rare nowadays you know free a lot of games now come out and they're about to be like 40 pound and then there'll be like a season pass off the bat and loads of dlcs and expansions released down the road for more monies and it's just absolutely crazy but terraria is by far one of the few games just there's so much to offer for such a little price and it's just such an amazing adventure Terraria is one of the few examples now of like small indie developers or just small developers just like how how much they can make a great game with just very little in return like I understand like when companies sort of or people charge for like DLC because they need to eat of course put food on the table roof over the head and all that good stuff but a lot of them do it for the greed rather than the need for it they do it because they want to not because they need to very a lot of major companies will charge a lot for a, a game but then they'll take bits out of it and then release it as dlc for more money now example like off the bat evolve it as soon as it came out spam of day one DLC that that could have been a great game but it was ruined by shoddy business practice the the greed for money it, it killed that game it wasn't a perfect game but it could have done so much better if it just didn't have that pure greed behind it there are small creators and developers out there who just simply don't charge you a lot for the complete package of a game and it's very good and they do actually sort of I think get decent money out of it because it's a solid game some creators do charge a bit for DLC and stuff down the road because they need to to sort of support the development or keep a roof over their heads because they want to do a bit more of the game or things like it but a lot of companies that don't need the money do it for the sake of pure greed and it they often sacrifice the quality of the game for simply more money and games will often get rushed or be lazily done and they'll be glitchy and buggy and a lot of nowadays games will be just super broken at launch you couldn't do that back in the day if you release a broken game or buggy game you couldn't just simply patch it you couldn't do that so like of ps1 if you release a broken game on a ps1 that was buggy glitchy you can't just patch it <laughs> it's a ps1 game no online support or anything like that so you screwed that game up you screwed that game up good unless you was to re-release it as a whole new ip or just simply re-release the game like remastered or whatever or redone like a direct a director's cut or something like that because that's the thing they can do now those like well if we well we release the shite game on launch hey we can always just patch it and even then the patches are often lazily also done themselves and it's very just i like to consider i think video game industry is an art form but it's definitely plagued suffering from a bit of greed and the desire just to break in profit rather than straight up produce quality video games like the last of us it's, it's, great, it's great that it's not die like the last of us was so much effort was put into that game so much care and passion and consideration was put into that game it was beautiful beautiful game unrivaled and i'm glad to hear I, I, i'm not hearing too much i know very little about uncharted 4 but from what i'm hearing that was also up there up on the tables of great quality of video gaming and why video games can be an art form 
because that was also by Naughty Dog, same people did Last of Us. So high hopes was in high hopes was in that game, and it's from what I'm hearing, it's, pay, it's paid off. And the Uncharted series is great, very great. Definitely recommend that. Will there be a VGR on that? Who knows? But I digress. Taria, great fucking game. Play it. If you don't want to spend like a fiver on it, then wait for a sale. I've seen it go for like less than two pound. When I first got seen, I was like, yeah, I'll buy a tray for five quid. One week later, bam, 175. I was like, ah. Oh. But the same crap happened with bloody Mountain Blade, Warband, and Garry's Mod. Bought it full price, week later, bam, sale. Rough. But, well, it's not as bad as buying a game for sale and the next day it goes even cheaper. Looking at you, Depth and The Forest, and many others. But, Terraria, great game. So much content so much you can do it's never ending such a fun game to play and it's personally from my opinion my perspective it's just an amazing game one of the best so i strongly if you haven't touched it you you touch that shit you you play it have fucking fun love that game because it sure does love you back <laughs> Ugh. But until next time, on the next VGR, whatever we do, I'll see you guys then. Take care.